Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I will be telling how to apply for Indian Unicorn Startup off campus to get a full time or internship at do the startup. So somebody have prepared this very good uh, Google Sheet which is an Indian Unicorn Startup list come tracker. So this is the Unicorn Startup list. Comes tracker means you can track your application if you have applied for the job or you have just called DM if you have a wrapper or this kind of status will be there. So now if you see there are lots of startups there are currently 115 star unicorns um, as far as I remember there are more than 123 unicorns so maybe there is 5 or 8 more to be added and you can find all the website link, LinkedIn profiles, Twitter, their segments in which segment they are working and then the founders, the domains and when they found it in what is their total funding and when they become unicorn and where is their headquarters so you can find this but the main thing is not about the list this is prepared by somebody else I got this list in my whatsapp community but the main thing is if you got this link if you got this google sheet how to apply for do the startup how you can find are these startups are hiring or not so for that, what you have to do, first of all, go to the file section and make a copy. So once you make a copy, it will look like something like that. I have removed the tutor column because that is not necessary for me. And I have also removed other column because that is also not much necessary if you are applying for a job. So here you can find the website, this LinkedIn profile, the email pattern. I will talk about this later on the current segment because I am much inclined towards the fintech and maybe you are interested in something else so depending on what is your interest are you interested in the fintech, health tech or ad tech or whatever tech you are interested in you can depending on that you can apply for these companies and the status so status will be something like um, so applied applied means you have applied for the job so this is you have to create it by your own so if you don't copy this so because in this you don't have the edit option so you have to first of all make the copy so once you make the copy you can add this just click on this edit button and add whatever drop down you want to add so add click on add another and you can add lots more options here also there is one column that i have created that is reference okay so the first step of applying off campus is understanding are these companies is uh, hiring right now or not or if they are not hiring right now, when will they hire fresher or the experience form? So what you can do is you have to go to this website link, you have to go to the career page, and you have to go to the LinkedIn page. Let's say I want to see when the startup one MG hire. So I will go to his LinkedIn profile and I will also go to their um official website. So now if I scroll down, so in the footer section mostly you can find all the um, as far as I remember you can find their career page here. So yeah, here is the career page. Click on this career page. Similarly here on the Tata 1 MG you can find there are more than 2 lakh followers. That means this is a renowned startup and here is the job section. You can uh, read more about their about section like how much funding they have, what round of funding they have done. So here you can see um, um, if I go through the home section, I can find they have done their 40 million fundraising. Okay, so that is good. So now if I go to the job section, I can find uh, there are like these jobs are available. But hold on, there can be lots more jobs which is not available right now. I will suggest you how to find those jobs. And you can find the people who are working in this company with you have to finally mail and ask for reference but as of now just see here are like 54 jobs and you can select which type of job you want let's say if you are interested in the front end so let's see if there is some role for the front end engineer yeah you can find there is a role for a software developer engineer front end engineer in the bangalore and uh, this is the location it's the bangalore it is a full time this is a june 2023 so it is recently posted so let's go here and you have to read about this complete so read about it now once you have read it you read about that there is a hiring for a front-end engineer role 
and uh, they don't need we are looking for engineer and who should have at least 3 year of experience 3 year of experience not work experience okay and uh, good okay so it's for a work experience so basically this is for a senior role so now what you have to do um, once you find this so you can do two, two three things i will suggest you how to apply for off campus to get a better result for a better result don't rely on this apply for this job this is the thing that you have to do okay there is no problem like you will sign it with google sign in with linkedin and apply for for the form that is simple that you will do that everyone do but this is not uh, everything that you have to do you have to take an extra input so what you can do is first of all you should go to this linkedin profile and this um, students like employees hiring manager of this company so how to go you can read out like there is software engineer and you are applying for software engineer so they can prefer you so what you can do is you can just go here and say um hr at the rate strata 1mg or say 1mg so you can find this uh, lots of yeah director hr uh, hr operation and tata mg and now what you have to do is you if you go through their profile you can find their uh, like contact info so in the contact info generally you can find this is their email but in case if you are not able to find their email what you can do is you should go for a google and ask um startup 1 mg um employee employees email pattern okay so email pattern so you can find the pattern there so see the email pattern is first name dot last name at the rate 1mg.com so this 1mg.com is the um their website url so see similarly if you go to cred so cred employee pattern so it is a uh, first dot last at the rate cred dot club okay and similarly you can find for resume grow and some other startup so for first first of all if you find this pattern after finding this pattern you have to find the name find the employee you have to mail them that you are looking for a front end engineer role you are looking for a software engineer machine learning engineer back end engineer so full stack whatever you are looking for you are looking for a front end uh, or whatever engineer role at their company and you have to write what you have done till now what is your best project or what are your skills and you have to attach your linkedin profile and the resume so and make sure you write a good subject let's say for an example you can write are you looking for a best front end developer in the market for your uh, stream um, are you looking for a skilled front end engineers to join your stream uh, are you looking for a front end engineer who can build extra ordinary okay or um, extra ordinary user interface for your startup something like that you have to be a little bit creative so write a good cold email so you have to write emails to the software developer for the reference hr and the hiring manager so uh, and i highly suggest because uh, i see lots of time um employees don't replies to the linkedin dm but they definitely replies to the email so it's time to come here and write this status so here you have to write the status like you have um still done a cold dm or a cold e uh, cold dm plus cold email you have to dm also you have to email also now if after a one week after a one week they didn't reply they didn't reply now you should not be come like sit back like they are not replying why should i mail them again no it's not like that you have to give a follow up email you have to give a follow up email at least after a week that uh, you are still interested to work in their company you are still looking for their company are they still hiring for a fresher or whatever role you are applying for so give a follow up email after a one week and write here you have follow up so after two follow up so first mail and then one follow up after one week and then another follow up after another one week so in 15 days they didn't reply back in that case you can like pause it otherwise you have to give at least two follow up now what you have to do is um i highly suggest apply on this uh, career page with the referral so you should give ask for a referral on the linkedin few tips that i want to give you before you apply for off campus so the very first thing your network is your net worth you have to connect with lots of employees who are working in the company where where you want to work so you have to connect with those employees so that you can ask for the referral referral is the most 
Rappel help you to faster your uh, the process of hiring. Second tip is your uh, your timing for uh, sending the email is important. You should not send email on the uh, like Friday night or the Saturday night. You should send the uh, email on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday early in the morning. Let's say 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. This is the good time because HR or these employees open their email. Opening their email is the first thing they do. So you should send email in the morning. If you are not able to wake up in the morning and send, you what you can do is you can schedule the e email to the Monday morning, Tuesday morning. So if let's say if you are applying on the Saturday Sunday, so don't send email on Saturday Sunday. Probably they will not open. And second thing, by Monday there can be lots of email to them. So your email will be uh, very blue. So in that case, you if you want. Uh, the employees should open their email. So what you have to do, you have to send it on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the morning time, not in the evening, not on the uh, on the weekend. So this is the few tips that I want to share it with you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want more such videos, um, let me know in the comment section that you want to more such videos on the hiring and hiring tips. I will love to make videos on those topics. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching.